Hello, we're the New Level Nerds, and this is our Elite Dangerous tutorial on bounty hunting. Maybe you just rolled out of the station in your first borrowed Sidewinder looking for a fight. Or you're looking for something exciting to break up the soul-crushing monotony of deep space mining. But you're not ready to fully commit to the lifestyle. To the point where you're hanging out in a dark room with an obese slug on some distant desert planet. Fortunately, bounty hunting in Elite Dangerous is pretty straightforward. All ships in Elite Dangerous have a criminal record, which you can view by locking onto them with your standard targeting system. When you target them, the ship's legal status is displayed on the third line, beneath the pilot's name and battle rank. A ship's status will be either clean or wanted. The status can change to be either mission target or enemy due to involvement in missions or territory skirmishes. Some good places to find ruffians mulling about suspiciously are navigation beacons and resource extraction sites. The extraction sites even clearly state how exciting they are due to pirate activity, flagged as low, high, or hazardous. Wanted ships can also be found at other small, randomly generated encounters such as salvageable materials or unidentified signal sources that show up while in supercruise. Now, before you roll up in the spiffy little rented Sidewinder trying to claim the bounty on one of those anaconda things, keep in mind that your starting lasers will be like throwing a small pebble at a rhinoceros. Yes, he will notice. No, it won't hurt him. And yes, he will most likely kill you. Fortunately, you don't need to be the only one fighting them. To claim those types of bounties, all you need to do is engage them in combat. Frequently, nav beacons and low and high extraction sites contain system authority vessels that will attack wanted ships they happen upon. This is quite useful when starting out. All you need to do is engage the wanted ship after another ship does and try to avoid getting stepped on. If you survive, you're golden. Hazardous sites, however, do not have any luxury of backup from the system authority vessels when things go wrong. When you have drank your fill from the skulls of your enemies, or run out of ammo, head back to the nearest starport to claim your bounties. Bounties show up in the Transactions tab of your navigation computer and can be claimed in their respective star systems when you're docked at a station. They are hidden under Contacts in the Starport Services menu. A word of caution. Bounty vouchers vanish upon your ship's destruction, so don't get too carried away. To increase your bounty yield and hunting ground, there are a few toys available. Firstly, the Kill Warrant Scanner. It's a utility hardpoint which allows you to scan a ship for bounties they have gained from any system or faction rather than just the local one. It's best to assign a kill warrant scanner to its own fire group to avoid any unwanted mistakes. Target the ship with the warrant scanner and click and hold the scan. A scan takes up to about 10 seconds, so be patient. If you lose sight of them, keep the scanner engaged or you will lose all scanned data. Chaff will also cause problems by blocking the warrant scanner as it does with the targeting system. The final two tricks are a frameshift wake scanner, which allows you to track and chase a bounty that is trying to run, and a frameshift drive interdictor to pull bounties out of supercruise. For more information on that, check out our other video on all the tips and tricks of interdiction. After that, you'll be ready to roll up your sleeves, look for some no-do-gooders, and make some sweet, sweet credits. Happy hunting, everyone, and we'll see you starside.